Hello fellow collectors, enthusiasts and nostalgia seekers. Today I'm going to be reviewing Iron Man Series 2 action figures released by Toy Biz. This was released um, based on the Marvel Action Hour back in the 1990s. Um, presented by Stan the Man himself. So that is really cool. Um, a lot of you will probably remember it. There's a great assortment of figures in this um, series two lineup so that's really cool i thought i would do something completely different this week after doing x-men over the last few weeks and um, of course we had age of apocalypse last week which was really cool so this week i thought i would go for some iron man figures um, i've been rechanging things around i don't have room to store loose figures now they've all had to go into a plastic tub i am literally running out of space um, I know some of you would gladly offer to take some of these off my hand, but unfortunately they're not for sale. And talking of sales, if I have any recent data on sales prices on these particular figures, I'm just going to pop that on the screen somewhere at some point throughout this video. So you guys get a rough idea of what things are selling for in 2022. With all that said, let's jump into this review. Let's take a look at these awesome retro Toy Biz action figures. So kicking things off, we're starting with Stealth Iron Man. Why? Because he's on every single card. On the first card, we had the classic yellow and red Iron Man. But on Series 2, we get Stealth Iron Man, so it makes sense. He is in purple, and he has these sort of pearlescent, purplish coloured, silverish coloured um, attachments that you can see here. And they all attach to his Stealth Iron Man's suit. Um, really smart. And we get a write up on the back here about Iron Man and Tony Stark and what this suit can do, which is really cool. Basically, he can't be detected by radar, which is absolutely awesome. And he has this gimmick here because all Toy Biz figures, guys, from the 90s had gimmicks. And this one's got like a pole string and basically you can pull him up or down. And we get the blueprints on the back of the card here, which is really cool. Now, he was voiced uh, Iron Man in the animated series by Robert Hayes. Um, yes, this is a super nice Iron Man kicking off this series of figures. I hope you'll agree. I really like this one. And the most recent sale price was in the States at £34.60, excluding postage. Next, we've got Space Armor Iron Man with Power Lift Space Pack. Now, this one is sporting the red and yellow, but this time we've got a square on the chest instead of a circle and we've got this super cool red sort of chromed attachments so that he can do this super cool sort of gimmick that he's got with this toy this action figure um, i really like this one it's the closest one to the series one iron man um, and i really like it a lot this this these sort of attachments used to sort of wear away over time and um, the chrome would come off them um, that's just an observation I've made as I've got older. I didn't care much as a kid. And sometimes the bits were would fall off because they were sort of just placed in by like a single pin. But nevertheless, I absolutely loved having these action figures as a kid. And I absolutely love the fact that I've managed to finish this series of figures as an adult. Here he is in all his glory. And the most recent sale price was £35. And that was of the 30th of this month. Next up, we've got Hologram Iron Man with Power Missile Launcher. Um, you can notice there's a triangle on the chest this time. We're in silver and red. The red again is that super chrome look, which it was just great attaching all those different parts. This one comes with like a, a blaster and a missile launcher. So this is really cool. So he could do some serious damage to the Mandarin and his goons. Um, yeah, I really like this. I used to love watching him in the animation go in and look at all his suits and it'd be like from floor to the ceiling of different suits in the animation. They did that really well. Um, we get another right up here and we get the blueprints to hologram Iron Man, which basically means he can make holograms of himself to confuse the enemy, which is a, I love how they think up all these different things that these different suits can do. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of that, because I think that's really cool. The most recent sale price for this one was £69.25, and that was in the States. Um, Hawkeye next. Now, Hawkeye, we all know a lot, a great deal about now. 
Um, he was voiced by John Riley, but Clint Barton, this was my first introduction to Hawkeye, Clint Barton, um, was through this animation. Now this one doesn't stick around when he goes up for sale. He usually gets sold pretty quick because he's, a lot of people seem to want this figure. He looks just like he did in the animation, but I believe he looked like this in the comics as well. He comes with his quill, um, some arrows and his bone arrow and a little knife. And I, I love the fact that he's got all these different arrows that could do all these different things. Um, and he sort of played a supporting role in the animation. So he sort of supported Iron Man in helping him foil the Mandarin and his sort of goons and stopping them from doing all their evil ways. And I love how that knife sort of slips down into his boot there. That is a really nice touch. Super retro but you've got to love a bit of Hawkeye. Most recent sale price was just £33, and that was in the UK last week. Next up, we've got Whirlwind. Now, I don't know a great deal about Whirlwind. I remember him from the TV series. I remember he would spin sort of and make great big tornadoes. Really cool character. We get this cool collectible plastic sort of um, bit with a write-up on him, and he's got those um, spinning discs that you attach to his arms there absolutely awesome he looks really strange with that sort of torpedo shaped helmet on but yeah he was definitely a mainstayer throughout the animation always um trying to do some sort of evil thing for the mandarin and there it is there it shows you his gimmick is sort of spin him spin his arms around to create that whirlwind effect proper 90s nostalgia right here this is absolutely awesome a great series of figures so here he is, Whirlwind, the most recent um, sale price, I think was in May, nope, June, and it was just £23, which is an absolute bargain. Next up, we've got Blizzard. Blizzard is definitely one of my favourites. Um, wasn't a major character in the animation you you often saw him he was always doing something or being involved in something not a lot of talking from blizzard he was voiced actually by two people which was chuck mccann and neil ross and i forgot to mention that whirlwind was voiced by dorian harewood um we get a right up on blizzard we get one of those cool little plastic cards again sort of collectible bits and he comes with an ice fist and he comes with an ice javelin which is a really cool set of um, little extras that you get with this action figure definitely one of my favorites a really cool character and then actual most recent sale price was really cheap at just four pounds 12 pence that's an absolute bargain next up we've got modok voiced by jim cummings evo twisted modok and i remember in the animation they did do a sort of origin story to him always by mandarin's side always helping him plot and scheme and create things and always trying to foil iron man but at the same time if he could overthrow the mandarin and take the power for himself he most certainly would of course now the leader of aim um yes modok almost um like a, a sidekick to the mandarin throughout the actual animation if you like um we get a right up here on modok i love this action figure it's absolutely great his head sort of squidgy which helps you squeeze it and he'll fire that projectile out of the front of his um head and we get some cool attachments there which is really cool yes a great character very difficult to find very rare um definitely one you want to pick up if you ever see it or get the chance and you collect these action figures there's been no recent sales of him and no one is actually selling him at the moment that can always change though and here he is against the hasbro modok the marvel left from the marvel legend series i had to do a comparison since i've got him of course this one has come on a long way but you have to say, look, the original one looks like how he should. It just is so cool. It's nice to do these comparisons. I enjoy doing them um, because figures are so much different to what they used to be. Here we go. Let's have a quick look at them all again. I hope this has been a nostalgia rush for you guys. I hope it's brought back some memories. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this series of figures. 
what you thought of the animation um hopefully that tune is in your head now um i think the second tune to the second series was better as well as the animation and storytelling let me know what you think but it was presented by stanley it was a great series until next time guys good luck searching for that toy goad